Hi everybody, this is the Fit Queen. So Happy New Year, Happy 2020, and I wish everybody healthy, prosperous, uh, and happy uh, amongst uh, your family members and friends as well. So what I'm going to do today is uh, to feature a couple of things about cuttings. Why I have been really quiet for the last couple of weeks, apart from attending mass and attending to the kids and the dogs at home while on leave, is uh, pretty much taking a backup of all my plants over here. Because we have noticed uh, in this tropical region, yes, despite the fact that our trees fruit like constantly and it's never stopping because we don't have winter here and they, they don't go dormant, uh, that's a privilege for us. But sometimes uh, they do go, uh, they do go in a in a mode of sleeping. They do sleep because they, the plants need to rest. So that's when we take the opportunity to take a backup of all our plants because in our tropical region, in any moment in time. Um, they might just die on us because remember this is a potting culture uh, it's not in the ground so the risk is always there so we always constantly take backup of our own plants as well and apart from that i do take some backup without telling my husband that uh you know i do grow them for sale of plants in this uh region as well so if i may get your attention on a couple of things over here so back to the cuttings uh we were really extremely busy for the last two weeks um and we have actually done close to 400 cuttings i have to applaud my kids my fake kids because they have been really diligent and helping me in this one it's not easy yeah um they are live plants so we need to cut them we need to you know what you know kind of soak them and, and prepare the cuttings before we kind of put it into soil we can just cut and poke into soil that's not going to work there are techniques that we have actually uh, observed and uh, it has been really good for us. Uh, surprisingly, some of the boxes we kind of like have actually put into soil for a good three to four days and they are really doing very well. And you have noticed my trick, tip and trick is to use styrofoam box and I actually close them, um, making them act like a, do a humidity dome. So it allows the humidity to, to kind of react and allows the cuttings to quickly or it kind of expedite the rooting process. But bear in mind, again, there are tips and tricks. If you want to know what they are, I can be, I'll be more than happy to show you. And I've done a couple of videos as well, what um, what you need to kind of watch out for as well. If you will thoroughly, if you thoroughly close this for a good two weeks, you can safely say goodbye to them because uh, the bad air or the stale air inside do react and, and kind of, uh, there might be fungus reaction in there and it will quickly kind of do a sweeping kill or KO on all the other cuttings as well. So let's zoom in on this. This is how many days, Savio? It's only three days. Apparently my son said, can you see that they're leafing out already? Brilliant. So always make sure that two third of the cutting goes in, one third remains outside with sufficient nodes for it to leaf out, yeah? This has even rooted three days, mind you guys, three days it has rooted nicely and it's leafing out nicely and let's just open this box over here Ooh, i see something here i think this is cdg yeah it's colidama gigante so um this fella decided to fruit in the box instead of on the tree and guess what i have to remove it all right carefully remove it without even moving the cutting because you might disturb the rooting the roots uh, that's already they are already developing inside cddg nicely rooting it's about two days or three days as well isn't it mm. yeah and can you see it's nice leafing out always always open and there are it's all logic guys it's not you know it's just logical sense as well do not open it when it's raining you know the fungus might just stay inside as well and it's totally damp as well this is still very new. I think they did it like yesterday. And it's already leafing out. And here as well. Okay, there's some cuttings over here. As you can see, they're all uh, in boxes. Um, there's some of them are outside because they pretty much have uh, leaf up quite largely. So we're just leaving it outside because we need a little sun as well. So yes, for close to 400 cuttings over here. And I just want to kind of bring your attention here to this box and this couple of boxes about the same as well. They're pretty much like five to six days. Yeah, some of them I'm taking a backup because they're so rare. You can't even find them outside. But I think this box is quite interesting. Okay, 
thing doesn't fall. Ah, there you go. This is like five to six days. Can you see? And it's root, rooting as well. So this method works, guys. So if you want to do the fig pop, that works as well. But to, to us, I think we've we've um, pretty much have um, have done that many a time. But it's just too tedious because we've got to cut it, we've got to put it into soil, and yada, yada, yada. So this is like a one-time pain. Treat the cuttings, uh, put it into soil, water it well for uh, the first time, and then put in boxes, air it occasionally, and you're done. It is so simple. All right. So that's all from us, or uh, from me, the Fit Queen. Uh, as you can see, my earrings is so cute. This is Korean for I love you, Sarang. Eh? So likewise, I love you guys. Thanks for watching, and continue to support us for 2020. Yay!